going on everybody and um, welcome back to the channel now today hey, we've got the lads down here at cricket district of course you know we have done a couple of reactions to them in the past but they've got something huge here jimmy anderson I can't believe it. Jimmy Anderson and Stuart Broad versus Village Cricketers. Can we survive? I mean, I don't know how the hell they've got this together. Um, Jimmy Anderson, obviously, look, you know, he is POM. Look, the respect between us, it may not be as strong as it would for, for an Englishman, but I respect him. He is the greatest pace bowler of all time. I'm here to say it. Statistically, yes, okay. Shout out Glenn McGrath um, and Brett Lee and Mitchell. But anyway, uh, <laughs> this is going to be interesting, man. I, I can't believe they've got this together. We're going to jump straight into it. Original link in the description. Subscribe if you're new. Let's go. This should be fun, man. Oh, oh a bit of chin music. Oh. 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 I, I can't believe they've got them actually here. It's crazy. I just got oh, they're at Lords as well. well. Oh, oh brother. Jimmy Anderson's like a hero. This is going to be bro. I mean, I'd have bounced him by now and again. What would Baz McCollum say to you right now? Hit the fucking ball. <laughs> guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Cricket District. Today is a very special episode of Village vs. Pro is cool, at Lords, man. with thanks to LV Insurance. That's right. Today we're taking on two legends of the game, Stuart Ward <laughs> and Jimmy Anderson. <laughs> Ain't no way. How the hell did they sort this one out anyway? This is cool. Alrighty. Here we go then. This is like childhood dream stuff of right here. This, but we're about to face Jimmy Anderson <laughs> and Stuart Broad. Nah, I would be in Jimmy's shock. I'm trying to send the uh, first one I'll out of the middle. park. I'm sending it yeah. for six. I'm going to try. Is that middle-ish? No, no, no. I'll put it back. Put he it wants back. middle. <laughs> he was on off stump. Is that middle? That's middle and off. First ball from Jimmy Anderson. Runner up. Here we go. What's Jimmy got? Oh, oh yeah. Two. That's, that's crap. Absolute crap, Jimmy. Get two through the covers for that. The main no, thing is, bat ball. Next <laughs> ball. Did a stick cricket here. Jimmy, what's he got? Ooh, On the stump, so okay. Oh, okay. You're, you're classing that as two dot balls to start, are you? Oh, you have a cover with that ball. Yeah. His action is so snappy. Keeping quite low as well. And if you can't tell, I'm pretty nervous. Oh, I've yeah. got a feeling nah, swing. with a bit of bounce, you're going to nick him off the second slip. Oh. A bit of bounce? Never got bounce in my life. Bowls a bit of head music straight away. Oh, well played. Going to take an inside edge for two through square leg. Get around the penal that, area. Two runs on the board. Two runs. Two runs. Jimmy's that like, what? Oh Jimmy's saying, I had a fucking fielder there. Fielder's all right. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It can only have been a misfield. <laughs> oh, nice. Right. Good front foot. He's uh, nicked <laughs> one to mid on. I don't know what I can do with that. Jimmy, when was the last time you played club cricket? Uh, 2006. Jesus Before. Christ. Burnley. Uh, Burnley? The last six games of the season. As a batter? As a batter. Maybe bowled the last two games. Or last game. Runs? Top Ten. score, 35 not hey. out. Nice. Uh, and we won the league, got a medal. Am I right, <laughs> am I right in thinking? You know when you got 81 at Trent Bridge? Yeah. That was your first? First 50. Your first mm. ever 50 was a test My 50. Well, it's my only ever 50. It in got any sort of cricket. Burnley. Who was it against? 49 not out opening the batting was my highest score. Yeah, how many over? Of 50 over. Baz ball. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the state of this now. Right, let's just, just, Look at this. just for the record, can I show that to the camera? Oh, yeah, it's just it. Looking fresh. Um, in typical village fashion, nobody remembered to bring a new ball, so we had to start with this. I'm going to look at the cut scene in it. It's got the, it's got the, bro. You know that's like your local fourth grade cricket ball when it's got like the extra line through it. 130 overs old, this ball. Yeah. Come on, Jack. Oh well, it's doing a bit. Oh hey, goodness! Hey. One hand, one bounce. Could have run him out there. Bro, imagine if you like your that. intensity is like growing here. Putting a little bit more in now, aren't you? For a lot of people around 20, 24 age, Jimmy Anderson's like a hero. He should start bowling fair, a bit. I've never bowl with a ball like this. That's All right, let it go, go, Jimmy. Nothing that makes things more even. <laughs> You're still world to class, honest, mate. If the ball gets like that. What do we normally do? Come round the wicket and bowl bounces. True, true. What's the ball? What's the ball here? Cross scene. I think he looks quite comfortable with the ball straight. I reckon it's you've got to risk a little Slightly bit wide. of width. Not width, but like fifth stump. I think All you right. can nick mm. it. Wide of the crease. Get him playing at a wide one. Virat Kohli style. Oh, 
Oh, stop it! Quite comfortable there as well. Guys, get a bit more forward in that one. That's nice. That's beautiful. Yeah. Get that shit he out of here, Jimmy. Technique. He looks good. He looks really good. Yeah, you can, I mean, he's he's trying to dominate with even with the amount of cherries on his bat. You know, he's arrived at yeah, he's big alpha. Bat and it's it's like alpha it's bat. like Shander Paul's bat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like he's been at home and painted something red and whacked it on his own bat. But um, he, he shapes up really nicely. Still can't believe. I think Baz McCullum might have him playing against Australia in the first Ashes Test. I don't, I don't know. It's People tempting. Jimmy Anderson here. Like you see like all these different angles of Jimmy bowling, but it does not compare anything to facing him. It's nah, smack one. You got to try and smack one at action. least. Oh, that's a good shout. Probably the left arm zone. Oh, left armers. Spinning left armers. What is coming here, bro? What am I watching? Didn't expect this. What the fuck? Oh, oh, that's a pie. Do you know what? That's six. That could be out. What? <laughs> I thought it was six. That's the closest I've come to getting him out. The guy on the boundary there. Well, if you're playing in New Zealand, that's six. Uh, my turn. Cheers. Looked after it nicely. All right, Did still I have a warm up it. What's big old Stewie doing got? That for half an hour. All right, he's doing warm ups. Yeah, I've got a big workload inside me, have I? Like it. Right, Jimmy Anderson. Complete. I think I might be out on that last ball to be fair. I've definitely not got all of it. I would have said six. But in terms of his actual pace, reasonably happy with how I did there. Would have been actually nice to get some runs, like proper runs, not just nibbling around to no, mid up and mid on. Still counts. Right, already up now. All right, Stuart. I think short stuff. Short stuff. Short stuff. Your bounce, if he keeps playing shots like that. Could nick it. Yeah. Or bounce up. Oh. Right, <laughs> Jack versus Stuart Broad. Second over. They're giving tactical thoughts and stuff in the nets. Come on, Stewie boy. Oh, that's crap, oh. Stuart. Get that right out of here. Seen that before. <laughs> that was a half-tracking rubbish. Slightly over pitch. Not overly happy with that. No, I wouldn't be. It does shape up nicely, doesn't it? It does shape up nicely, yeah. Do you think you'd sledge him? I mean, I'd have bounced him by now and again. Ooh, oh, true. Okay. Yeah. Maybe you got to throw in a bit of short stuff. That is... Oh, that's okay, a one. little bit. Parry through. That that's the one. I'm looking for the nick. I need it a foot closer to you. Bit too much on it. Yeah. The man Ooh, Stewart's at full that. pace now. Went for the stumps, played it well. Should bowl a little bit shorter. Ooh. What's he going for here, Jack? He wants one around the chest. Master. Just to get him, see what he does. Oh, he's played it played well. Again, Jack. That wasn't far off a bit of skin no. there. It's about an inch off, I reckon. That's there. That wasn't far off hitting him the most painful spot. Right <laughs> yeah. in the fucking but side. But in the middle of the batman chin? before, so. Oh, yeah. yeah. On the calf. Or if you were at finally. What are your options here? What do you go for? Well, I don't really want to bounce. I've not bought a bouncer in a net for 15 years. No, that's true. But he's annoying me. <laughs> <laughs> Give it yeah. a go. No. Chin music time. I reckon his confidence is sky high right now. He's, he's... How many wickets between you guys, test wickets? 1,200? 20? 1,400? 6, 7, 5? Must be, yeah. 12, must be 1,200 or something. 1,200 yeah. test wickets. 20 or something like How that. How many of those 1,200 were with a ball like that? <laughs> a few. I'd say zero. Really? It's actually gone more and more out of shape now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the <laughs> hell? Jukes in this year. What's wrong with it's it? Like village cricket. Niche joke, that. <laughs> it's like it's lost half of the that fucking padding. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Stuart, time for action. He's old talk, Stuart. Ooh. And that, that, Stuart. The ball, that one again. It's a fucking Stuart. wide. One. We haven't got him out. Rubbish. No, you look like Come getting him on. out. Come oh. on. I didn't hear anything. Point link. I, I point. didn't hear nothing. It's a really bad shot as well. No, I didn't hear nothing. Yeah, if you get any bat on that, it's four. He four. did. I thought, we'd I thought he hit it. There, I, that I, was a bouncer. I, I, was, I changed my mind about it. He definitely it. hit it. <laughs> right, last ball. It'd be so good to survive. I think Brad Haddon would have gotten to that one. What's Mr. Stewart Little got? Uh, two full. Got ball. Right. It's like the only way I can get you to not. I feel like I'd have to be outside off some to get the edge. To get the edge. Played nicely. Really he nicely. bowled two full. Oh, thank you, sir. I appreciate ball. it. It's slightly terrifying, but we've done it and we've survived. Two overs, and that last ball off Jimmy might have been out there. I think didn't get all of it. Uh, not short score, I'm going to find that. <laughs> Bang! That's a good shot. Oh yeah. Right, time for my first winter net. Let's Pretty go. I'm playing against Jimmy Anderson and Stuart Broad. There's good Lord's preparation. LV Insurance. Let's give this a go. I'm a bit nervous. Do we have any inside info? Is what's his weakness? Well, First one, pull it for six. Can you guess what division he plays? Uh, 
need to see him shape up. The way he's whirling back, he's and the way he's warming like Joe Root. It's got to be Premier League, isn't it? You reckon? It's got to be Sussex 2s, the way he's carrying on at the minute. I'm going to tell you after the first ball. If, okay. it's, if it's any lower than that, he needs to stop doing that warm-up. You got any more routine you need to go? <laughs> nah, that's what I was laughing at. The, the little twist with the bat like that. That's what you see, you know, your, your Steve Smith doing before he walks. <laughs> go through or are we good to go? All right, I reckon I'm I'll done. Little leg oh, though, man, I'm tearing up. Oh, brother. Anyways, that was funny. Six. Oh, Ooh, goodness, it almost went through Come him. Come on, Toby, what's the ball? Oh, nice. Hi, you can see off stump. That's what I'm going for. Nice. If you bowl, if you had a ball that was swinging, you bowl your away shape from that straight line, bold. Oh yeah, it was same with him though as well. Thanks. <laughs> right, calm I down, Jimmy. More nick from wider and nick back. Do you reckon? Because I think you'd swing it away and bold. What, David Selmerston? Uh, ten. Nice. I oh, know we've gone up to nine. <laughs> yeah. Up to the ninth division. Hey, there we go. I reckon I'm, I'm close to edging off here, I think. No, that was four. Get, get that shit out. That's a moving ball. I won't ball short, but it needs to be a bit short. I need a back of a length. Suddenly, and I've got a bit of blood going, I'm starting mm. to get a bit competitive. I've booked me in for a six hour spell it, I'm alright. <laughs> get my workloads in. I think he missed training today. Oh, oh good that's leave. Quite, that's quite quick. Great leave. I would have right left there. that. Yeah, that's quite sharp. Or I'm getting on the back Come foot, on, cutting that for four. You can survive. You can survive. That was nice. Great leave. Actually held it a bit too long though, didn't he? But no, he deserves. You're thinking bouncer, aren't you? I can tell. I'm itching for it, but I also don't, really don't want to hurt anyone. It, it, mainly yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't want to pull your side to back. Bowl a bouncer. Oh. He kept trying to do that to me, make me come outside and try and nick it. Yeah. You've managed to get a 200 over ball there to swing. <laughs> well, it just, it did actually just move away yeah. a little bit, didn't it? It's just foot wider, it's good length. I think it's, it's all in the, uh, the do you real grass pitch. Playing? International one. Yeah. Literally, just how you can yeah. manipulate it even more. Every it's ball. such a <laughs> different level. Like I've never like how you so like in detail talk about each each ball is. It's amazing. I mean, the options are very limited when you've got a ball like that, but that's why you got to try so many different things. Yeah. Never really think how important the ball is from a, from an outside perspective. So for a, if oh, a when it's a rock starting, like that, this season looking to focus on one or two things. What would you suggest? Uh, I mean, all I, I never look too far ahead. Like the first over is really important because there's so many things you've got to take into consideration. Maybe wind, moisture in the pitch, what what length is going to suit, footholds, run up, settling the nerves, expectation of everyone, setting the tone. So I just focus on my first over. I'm not thinking like I've Stamps. got to take a wicket. I'm thinking about the area I'm trying to hit. I never try and swing the ball in the first. 12 balls Let it do it. because early in my career when I look to swing it because I don't have the control of someone like Jimmy if I try and swing it and I over pitch bang four or doesn't swing as much bang four through mid wicket whereas if and then your confidence can drop so I try and wobble it I'll, I'll try and hold it like that try and get it to stand up because I know if I'm wobbling the ball I shouldn't miss my area because nothing can affect where I bowl it whereas if I'm trying to swing it I, I, the, the swing can move from where I'm trying to bowl it. <clears throat> so I just try and bowl 12 On solid spot. wobble seam balls. And then I'll speak to Jimmy or Fletch at knots and go, what do you think? Is it swinging? Is it humid? Is it moving around? Is it seaming? What, what length? And that's when I start to adjust to the conditions. So two, my first two overs is me. Get myself right, get my tempo, get my knees up, get into it, make sure I feel good. And then I adjust to what I'm doing there. He's just talking me through his cover drive. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> All right, a little ESPN halftime intro there. Oh, what the heck? Goodness me. You, nah, we got to go back to that one. Can't let that one slide. Come on. Come on, Toby. Look at it. He just... Oh, fuck. It's taken out that middle peg. He doesn't know where he's tried to hit the ball. He's missed it by a mile. Did it nip back in? I didn't even, I couldn't even tell what happened. Like I wasn't even, I didn't even think it was on pitch to hit the stump at all. And then it, yeah, he just kind of angled it back in, yeah. <laughs> the carry on. 
<laughs> All right. Is that goffy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no, it's a replay, right. Oh, just. Obviously, I got plenty wrong there. What uh, felt, what just felt missed like it. Just knees pumping. Keep it more in compact, the back. It was than I was aiming for. Closer. I was aiming for your stun, but it was half the yard fuller than I wanted it to be. Uh, I think it just actually did you on angle. It's a bit wider on the crease. Yeah. The two previous have bowled mid crease. That one I bowled a bit wider. All right, Stuart, you just taking what I said now. Bit of angle. Stuart, you can see Mr. Straight Ball. Oh, swung in, hit away. Is that off peg out the ground as well? That yeah, the ball peg. did everything there, man. Open, beautiful. I think that might be not. Oh, I think there was a bit of reverse, too much Fair bounce away. in it. Fell <laughs> away, lost my front arm, and it nipped back. It didn't nip back. It, <laughs> it did. The angle broke. Jimmy, watch it on replay, man. You just told him he was coming in through the angle. He angled it in. All right. Maybe it didn't swing, but he angled it that way. Come on, Jimmy. Think. You can. You can tell him you missed a straight one. His words, beating for pace. Beating for pace. Oh. I've not heard that since 2008. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, I've never heard that. <laughs> He's bowling right, half Billy trackers. Pro with Jimmy Anderson and Stuart Broad. I've already got out. It's quite a good ball. Yeah, These awesome. guys are absolute legends. Thank you so much to LV Insurance. Yeah, this is just such an amazing opportunity. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Don't forget to click like and subscribe and leave a comment with who you think we should face next. So LV Insurance men's Ashes. Prime Mitchell Johnson. Up. I'm guessing you're pretty buzzing, right? Yeah, yeah, we've, um, we've had a good, good few months with the test team. We've started playing some really good cricket. It's been great to be a part of, and um, yeah, we, we obviously have got a decent amount of cricket this year. So we, we, the Ashes being the, the main part. So we were. <laughs> oh, Jimmy, please. Um, hey, we, hey, of course, the Kiwi versus England series has been happening, and we remember what happened in the second test just a day or two ago. Would agree with that. Shout out um, to the Kiwis. I'm just looking forward to keep trying to the ashes. build on what we've um, we've already been doing. It's pushing and, um, 50, Jimmy. Must be an amazing bunch of people to be around from from an outside view. It looks amazing. Uh, filming this in January, so New Zealand is coming up. Oh, okay. And that is just, I guess, just pure prep. Like they won the first match, out, and then. Uh, how, how do you see that series going? Like, is it is it going to be a, a test and a, the second? new things, or is it going to be pretty? No, I, I, as I said, we. we I think every series, we, we're going there to win. You know, every series we play, we're trying to win, win games. We, we're not, as as Brendan and Ben have said a lot, we, we're not interested in draws. We want to, we want to win. Um, so we're just, yeah, we're trying to build on what we've already done. We, we play brilliantly in Pakistan. Uh, difficult place to go and go and win. Terrible um, pitches. And we're just, yeah, trying to build on that and then build some momentum going into the summer. Awesome. Last ball, Toby. Into the ashes. It's gonna be big. Oh, Ooh, nice! Still full. Good line, still too full. But... Luckily, we found the new ball just in time for Jimmy versus Toby. Ooh, good swing. timing. Should we roll with a new, new ball? Yeah. Here right, we go! Right Jimmy Anderson. Was it Mullery VJ? You bowled here? Yeah. St like, bowled him off peg and he right. couldn't believe it. Mullery VJ. Come on, Tex, what's the damage for Jimmy? Here we go, Jimothy with the oh. new ball. Oh! <laughs> Intimidation. Oh, what the sweet fuckery was that? What a difference a ball makes. That did a eh? little bit. <laughs> the carry mm. through. Brother. Throwing that ball back to you with disgust. <laughs> Go fetch. We've actually got a couple of spots open at my village in uh, in May. If you guys want to open the batting, maybe. Oh, a bit fuller. Bro, again, Jimmy fuller. opening up with the new fuller. pill. Bit fuller. Oh Ooh. my god, I thought that was going to blow we, off his front pad. If we could get a still image of that, there was a moment <laughs> when he was looking through square leg and the ball was going through gully. Yeah, thinking, why is the ball. <laughs> I was aiming over there, why is it not going through? He was going to nip Thanks it around me. the corner. Are you going, Toby? At least he made contact, that's what matters. Oh, oh so goodness. Involved. Good follow through, though. I liked Don't it. Show me too much of that right shoulder, you. Oh, he's missed it. Beautiful. Just Oh, dude. Doing a bit. Oh, Doing a bit. How do you do that? Is that swinging? Yeah. I've got absolutely no chance here, but it's still good fun. Bro, I to... low key just 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 run up the crease. Well, not run up the crease, but give it an old Happy Gilmore move up the crease and try and smack it. You got to you got to put the pressure back oh, yeah. on Jimmy now. Yeah, put just I want one more, I think. Mm. Yeah, that, that penultimate. I want you to bowl him off peg with him looking through square leg. Yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Oh. 
<laughs> oh, nice. Uh, That's another cherry. Boring. You see someone else. Okay. Yeah, I've I've got that's a cherry on the back. <laughs> now, weirdly, I want another over with a new ball. <laughs> like saying, one more, Stokesy. One more. I'm going to try and bat outside my crease and play an off drive, or maybe an on drive. An on drive, Easier here we go. Hey, I'm not going to lie, when you're starting to think shots against Jimmy Anderson, you might be in trouble. And that's a terrible Greedy. ball. Always Rubbish. Bounce. Bounce. It always Follow it again. Pathetic, that was. Yeah. What would Baz McCollum say to you right now? Get off! Play with freedom. Oh. Play with freedom. Stop looking to survive. That's a tough option, but... <laughs> True. Like, what are you meant to do here? Oh, oh sweet hey. lord! Is that the stump? I heard no. the noise, but the bales are on, so not out. <laughs> I think that's an edge off the stumps. Wow. Bro, if that hit the stump, stump it would have went flying. I think it did. <laughs> Ain't no way! Bro, those bales made a glue. <laughs> Where are we trying to hit that? Oh, just just hit it. What do you want? Covers. In or out? Uh, I, I, I prefer the drama of it, innit? Do you? Yeah. I've just bowled in there, the bales didn't come off. So okay, I... what about wider the trees? Away? Yorker. Yeah, yeah all right. I have a feeling there's going to be a wicket here. The slow motion. Yep. <laughs> yep. Perfect. Perfect. Damn. <laughs> That's out. Is it? <laughs> I thought it was not out. Now see, look, what, see, see what I'm talking about here. Let's go back to it, guys. You know, back in my days in Zimbabwe, right? So let's get to it. So you see here, I see Jimmy, right? I see that, you know, he's got that wrist position. It's it's slightly on an angle, but we're not worried about it too much. He's leaning over, clearly giving it his all here. And right there, uh, let's go back to it. Let's 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 not mess around here. Uh, as my dad, Michael, taught me. See, right there. I know it's pitching right here, so it's going to be quiet. It's going to do something. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move up the crease, and I'm going to try and pull it. It doesn't work, maybe. But at least I tried and played with freedom. In fact, that pitched a bit fuller than I thought. Yeah, no, you're not pulling that. Yeah, never mind. I'll edit that out, actually. Right, you're not is. pulling that. Awesome. Oh, I thought it was a bit shorter than that. Different with a new ball, isn't it? <laughs> that was epic. Clearly, you're in your flow the last few balls. What's yeah. your key? So, Stuart obviously says, like, relaxing the first 12 balls. What's mm. your kind of mentality going into a game? Well... Stump to stump. So we were just talking. Yeah, we were talking about early on. Stuart will bowl wobble seam, just to settle in, get used to, get into a rhythm. I'll try and swing it. And as soon as like when I bowled the first one at you and it was swinging, then that makes helps me relax because I know exactly what I'm doing with it. Um, and then just about having a bit of fun. And I think I feel like we, if it's swinging that much in a game, I still get the same amount of fun out of it. It doesn't become a job anymore. It becomes like. Just uh, yeah, having a bit of fun. Chase some wickets. We're lucky. We get to chat all the time when the bowler who isn't bowling is at mid off, and we're just yeah talking through ideas and um, what should we bowl at a certain batter and things like that. It's quite cool. That one worked. <laughs> yeah. Did didn't it? Yeah. That was a good. Yeah. I think I got you the ball before. And it just clipped the stump. Yeah, yeah that's that true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for your time, guys. Pleasure. Pleasure. No, no, appreciate really. it a lot. Yeah. Thank you very much. Hey, thank big you. shout yeah, outs yeah, right there. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Yeah. And there they go. That's a good shot. It's another good shot. That's quite quick. Yeah. Not out. Not out, Mike. Cool. I just got well and truly humbled <laughs> by the greatest fast bowler of all time. Um, and if there's anyone who can do it, it's Jimmy Anderson. So I don't feel too bad. No, that was pretty perfect. Called it from the start. Wide of the crease. Straight and swing away. Yeah. Just ridiculous amount like I'm, I'm so amazed how they literally every ball they're like oh that was probably like a little bit too far forward a little bit too far back but yeah. they're talking like inches yeah. and the way they can just adjust to that is literally the perfect ball you can't yeah well yeah that's that I can take take some solace in that um, you can't do anything about that no just like I probably won't be able to do anything about my first ball in May that does exactly the same thing off <laughs> I mean, if, hey, if someone's bowling like that in grade cricket, you need to investigate them. <laughs> um, but anyway, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Massive thank you to LV Insurance for setting this up. 
LV are all about supporting grass. All right, hey, big shout outs to um to the lads here. Original link in the description. I mean, you just couldn't ask for much more here. You get to play two of the great pacemans of the modern generation. Well, Jimmy Anderson, one of the greats and Phil Brook. Um, joking, I love you, Stuart. Hey, that is going to cap it off. Great content here. Subscribe if you guys are new. Leave a like and I'll see everyone in the next one.